Social media affected me in a multitude of ways that were very negative um, and also positive. You know, um, social media was an outlet for me. These harmful trends that were created these years of kids being on social media and seeing this and being like, I don't fit this stereotype, I don't live up to these expectations, and so now I'm just like, what's wrong with me? Because obviously you see like Kylie Jenner and you're like, oh. I wish I was like that. I wish I could have like a three inch waist. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate your own thoughts and your own sense of stuff and your body image when it gets distorted by, you know, the trends or um, the music videos. So like harmful when it comes to those type of stereotypes and those type of groups that they form, like social media forms. To see like the expectations that are put out there, like throughout social media and like throughout the entire network. Like especially with people that have body dysmorphia and people that, that struggle with body image and don't, even people that don't struggle with body image, even people that think that they have perfect bodies, I think that um, social media really pushes them to strive to be unrealistic. You get so into this routine of, I have to keep this up so I can be the perfect image of what I want, of what people want to like see me as, what people want themselves. And it's not about you anymore, it's more about like, if I do this, I'm gonna be liked, I'm gonna be perfect by society standards. I thought I was so disgusting, I thought I was so ugly, and I, I just was like, I'm not worthy of anything. I've gotten to the point where, you know, at the end of the day, it's only you, and you have to be happy with yourself before you can be happy with anything else. Normalizing actual bodies, right? No filter, no um, surgery, nothing. Just like normalize regular bodies. I don't like the saying, like you can't love anyone if you don't love yourself. But I really do think that does have truth in it. Loving yourself is going to take as long as it takes because you're you and your journey is your journey and no one can take that away from you because you're sovereign and you're an individual. Accept your flaws and insecurities. I know that's like so basic and so hard to do, like easier said than done for sure, but they are a part of you and it's part of your body as a human. And it's like, I know it's like a hard journey, but I definitely like you deserve it and you deserve to think highly of yourself and have a higher self-esteem, right?